There's a lot of questions at the moment about what we can do with AI. And uh, let me explain basically what I understand from it. So we have AI here. And what is it going to do for orthodontics? The first question we have is the use. Second would be abuse. But the main question we always do get is, is the replacement of orthodontic personnel or even orthodontist by AI? So the best thing to do probably is to look into what AI has been helping us with. So what has done AI for us? The first use that you may know, and I'm not going to talk too much about it, is dental monitoring, which is a distance monitoring system or teledentistry. So this is already pretty well known and that's not really the topic of the discussion today but it's a very good program then you will have a lot of research using AI at the moment it's mainly validation well the, we take the knowledge we already have assuming let's say a question would be an extraction versus a non-extraction approach using data sets to decide if the AI can give us the right answer. We can look at cervical vertebral maturation from zero, actually from one to six and decide if the system. So it's basically really validation of adopted concept. At the moment, that's basically a lot of research is doing this way, mainly retrospective and some perspective. The, th the, the third one is when you use neural networks, which is a very fairly high end applications of AI, and then you will use this for convene manipulations, be it segmentation, fusion with STL files from intraoral scan, and then you create what I call a virtual patient. This is very interesting. Now let's look at how does work, uh, this AI machine are working and probably a lot of clinicians are not really aware of how that works. So you get the AI, which is the big envelope of artificial intelligence. Well, you may have data sets big data as we call that are mined for predictions best example will be classifying class one class two and class three in a very simplistic way of using a big data set so we can classify the data set so that's very already pretty interesting you can really do a lot of work in classification and you could push this to indexes too. So you could have index of malocclusion that would be instantaneously created by importing the data set into an AI machine and you will have the index of malocclusion with its value. So that's a good one. The second one is machine learning. Looks like your apps on your iPhone or Android where you're going to be giving one task to a machine learning algorithm and it will predict what will happen. Again, would be probably extraction, non-extraction as an example. So it's only one parameter that the computer will give you. And then the third one is a bit more complicated, is deep learning, or people understand this more by neural networks, is all the combi manipulations. In orthodontic at the moment, before, because we don't have massive databases, and cone beams are fairly available. This is the, the best application. What's the future of 
AI in orthodontics. So we can maybe speculate a little bit what AI will do in the future for us and hopefully not against us. The first one we always looking for is a valid diagnosis that in my opinion experienced orthodontists we really don't need but you can build a valid diagnosis database to help discover maybe other traits of the patients. You could get probably some growth predictions using much larger input systems, which means that there is much more than the simple cephalometric analysis. So growth prediction would be helping us tremendously. So this will come once we can get the system working. The third one would be, and that's the one that people tend to always think is automated treatment simulations. A lot of aligner companies are looking at this because to save manpower or people power, whatever you want to say, call it. And that's the one that I'm working with at the moment. It's still far from reality. And then probably we can push it with what we call generative AI to appliance fabrication. When the AI will design an appliance that is totally well adjusted to the patient's needs perfectly. And that's probably will come in the next 10 years of our century, because I think this is very interesting. And in conclusion, AI at the moment I would use the term A as a bit of a different one. I would call it assistant. What does that mean? Well, the AI algorithms are basically here to assist the orthodontist to deliver better treatment. And that's very an important aspect of what we think or outcome is there is no, at the moment anyways, and I'm not sure it will ever be, a shortcut where the AI will get immediately past the orthodontist. I wouldn't be worried. I think the assistant intelligence of this algorithm will be very useful for our profession, for the people who will adopt them. Unfortunately, at the moment, uh, we don't have significant applications that are going to be easy for the practitioner to use. And already we have a lot of help. Best example would be the self tracing using AI. There are a lot of very nice assistance provided by AI in our field and it will get only better with time. So thank you for the attention and hopefully you learn a little bit.